So as many of you know by now, Congressman Matt Gates decided to launch a Twitch channel so he can begin streaming in order to, I guess, red pill younger generations. The problem with him is that he lacks charisma and he has nothing interesting to say. And as a result, his first Twitch stream was a complete flop. Now, when I say flop, you're probably thinking, well, he's a member of Congress, so he probably averaged about 2,000 viewers, 3,000 viewers, not that much, but certainly more than anyone else can get, right? Um, no, no, no. <laughs> Let me explain this to you. His peak viewer count was, wait for it, six. Six people. <laughs> Just six people at his peak tuned in to see Congressman Matt Gates. Any one of you can fare better than Matt Gates on your very first Twitch stream. All you have to do is tell your friends and family to tune in and you can average more viewers than his peak. It's genuinely just hilarious to see this because these bombastic politicians who throw a lot of red meat to the GOP base, they think that they are able to galvanize people. They think that they have genuinely interesting things to say, but when it comes to actually getting an audience, well, that's a lot more difficult than they believe, unless that audience is captive, unless we have to listen to them because they're a member of Congress and they're on television or something like that. But what did he talk about? Why was this such a flaw? Because in the event he was talking about something interesting, I mean, the viewer numbers would tick up. But what was he talking about? Well, as Vice News explains, the Florida congressman launched his stream Thursday with a 30-minute ramble about the January 6th Capitol riot with Darren Beatty, an ex-Trump speechwriter. In a live recording of Gates's Firebrand podcast, the two went on about Ray Epps, the man at the center of a right-wing conspiracy claiming undercover FBI agents led the mob of Trump supporters into the Capitol on January 6th, known as the Fed's erection. The January 6th Congressional Committee concluded Epps was just a guy from Arizona with no ties to the government at all. The stream ended with Gates bashing the defunding of police, wokeism in public schools, and blaming the squad of four progressive congresswomen for just about everything. Hmm. I mean, that sounds riveting. I can't imagine why people wouldn't want to tune in to that. I just got to point out, it's so bizarre to me that so many Republican politicians have podcasts. Ted Cruz has a podcast. Marjorie Taylor Greene has a podcast. Matt Gates has a podcast. And now he's streaming on Twitch. Stay in your lane. Just because you're a politician, just because you were successful politically, doesn't mean that you have the capability of holding an audience, okay? You are the type of person that can get good headlines, good quick sound bits. But to hold an audience for 30 minutes, you have to be engaging. You have to provide people with interesting things. And very clearly, Matt Gates isn't doing that. And what I love is that most of the viewers who were there, they were not fans of Matt Gates. In fact, they were trolling him. So let's go to this first graphic here. And you can see what I mean by that. So you see a lot of uh, Pepe images with the word cock. We see Shrek. And uh, user Vile asks, Congressman Gates, what is your favorite way to traffic minors across state lines for sex? And then <laughs> Zero chimes in saying, good question. And then we have another Pepe cock. And then moving on, I had to actually blur this image because you are looking at a phallic shaped image and it is what you think it is. Now, Lard says, are you guys worried about your kids driving home during rush hour? It can get kind of crazy out there. Thankfully, brave folks like Matt are fighting to keep our roads safe. Google Matt Gates minor traffic to find out more. So good. Uh, this person says, uh, Matt Gates hates adults. Um, I've, I just got to point out their name is Dick Hardy. Very clever. We see an Among Us character with a uh, full-blown erection asking, you want to suck? And then we see some comments here. Um, you see Hassan emojis. You see Matt Gates is a pedo by Jared B. Lazy Lightning 73 says, I honestly didn't think it was possible for you to become any more creepy than you already are. But then I learned you joined Twitch one day after Bloomberg published a report about how child predators are using Twitch to track and engage kids and teens. Oh, it's it's so bad. He's getting so roasted. Nobody wants your sex trafficking bitch ass on Twitch. Is Joel Greenberg's name allowed? Turns out it is. Paid $900 to a convicted sex trafficker. I mean, it goes on and on, as you can see. Just absolutely beautiful. Mwah, love it. Now, he thought that because he's a congressman, because he's Matt Gates, and he's been successful politically... And he knows some really powerful, popular people. He would just automatically find success on Twitch. But no, being a successful streamer on Twitch is actually 
very difficult because believe it or not, it takes talent to be able to hold an audience. You have to have charisma. You have to be engaging. As Greg Grazioso of The Independent explains, growing a community on Twitch is not easy. According to data from Sully Gnome and Twitch Tracker, the top 1% of Twitch streams have an average of approximately 20 concurrent viewers during their streams. The users pulling in tens of thousands of viewers each stream are the platform's top 0.1% and account for around 74% of the total watch time on the platform. So it's not easy to be successful on Twitch. Now, YouTube is a different story because they've tweaked the algorithm so that way authoritative sources, i.e. news organizations like MSNBC and even Fox News, they're prioritized in the algorithm. So back in 2014, 2015, those of us who were doing political commentary, we would actually get more views than Fox News, than CNN on any given subject. But fast forward to today, CNN gets millions and millions of views. Fox News gets tens of thousands of views on every single video and they beat us but that's because the algorithm has been tweaked but on twitch where the algorithm is more open certainly at least from my experience you actually have to have talent they're not pushing authoritative sources they're not pushing politicians and celebrities right you can use your celebrity and your large platform that already exists to certainly you know gain more viewers but the algorithm won't automatically do that for you so on twitch you've got to do good and Matt Gates just doesn't have it, but I certainly hope that he keeps trying. I've actually followed Matt Gates, so I am one of his uh, less than 2,000 followers. And I will enthusiastically tune into his next live stream because, you know, I, I'm not saying I'm going to troll, but I just want to see what he has to say. You know, I, I'm not going to troll. I'm not that kind of a person. You all know me. I'm just going to tune in and uh, hear him out. And if I happen to see some emotes that I like or some um, Shrek memes that I like, I might post them, no promises. But um, yeah, there you have it. Matt Gates is a flop on Twitch. Keep trying, brother, get good. Up yours, up yours, up yours. Sons of bitches, bitches, bitches. Woke moralists, woke moralists, woke moralists. I dreamed I saw my maternal grandmother. She was stroking herself absentmindedly. I let her have her way. The genital region was exposed. I let her have her way.